guys, it's date night and I'm looking like this. Damn! So I've only left myself a short amount of time to get ready and my hair is a complete state. So this is the wash and go from the Care Care products that I used last week. As you can see, it's looking really, really dry. It's actually quite soft to the touch, but as you can see, it's a mess. So today I'm gonna to be refreshing this wash and go. I usually style my hair midweek, mostly for content. But I don't often refresh my wash and goes. I usually do like an updo or something like that. But I wanted to rock the curls today, so here I am. So what I'm doing first is I'm wetting my hair with water and conditioner. And I'm just saturating the hair as much as I can. And I'm just starting to detangle my hair a little bit using my fingers and my fingernails. My hair wasn't very knotty, but the roots were. So I'm just taking my time to detangle the roots as well. I didn't want to use a brush because I don't like to comb my hair when it's not like soaking wet simply because I'm not trying to wet my hair to wash it I'm trying to wet my hair so I can restyle it so I don't want it to be soaking wet because I'm going outside as well so yeah I just saturate my hair finger detangling and then I'm going to be taking this Cantu curl activator with avocado oil and shea butter a lot of people have cancelled Cantu and don't use Cantu anymore but I promise you there are a few gems in the Cantu line and this one is one of them so yeah i'm just raking and smoothing raking and smoothing and then now i'm going to be taking my eco styler gel and again i know a lot of people cancelled eco styler gel and don't like eco gel but if you know how to use eco gel you won't experience the dryness and i've used a hell of a lot of gels in the past six months or 12 months and i love eco styler gel i love it and i don't think i'm going to find a better gel because I need that thickness for my hair. What I'd say is that with Eco Styler Gel, you have to use an oil with it. I know some people don't like using oils because it's potentially gonna give you dryness and then the Eco Styler is gonna give you more dryness, but use an oil with the Eco Styler Gel and you see a world of difference. So yeah, I'm just taking that Eco Styler Gel and lathering it onto my hair. And as you can see, it's kind of making my curls straight. And that's just because my hair is not soaking wet. So if I do want to loosen up that curl a little bit, I'll just spray some water on it. And if there is still some straightness to it, I'll just shake the curls and the curls come right back. So I'm just going to be doing that for all the sections of my hair. I really, really like this product. I think it's one of the best hair moisturizers that I've ever used. I might just do a video with using just candy products for my collection. I have tested and tried each and one of them so far and I get good results from the kind of two products I have. <laughs> so if you'd like to see that video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. So yes, when I'm applying the cream, I go ahead and finger detangle even more because the cream gives it more slip than just the water with a conditioner. So I'm just detangling, detangling and just trying to get my curls to clamp together nicely and to have them separated and moisturized and shiny and all that jazz as they are, as you can see. So for the front part of my hair, I like to scrunch the curls up a bit to match the back of my hair because the back of my hair is more coily than the front of my hair. So that's all the sections done and my hair is looking worlds apart from what it was looking like from the beginning. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So now I'm just going to put my headscarf on my hair while I do my makeup. I usually like to put my hair up as soon as I finish anyway. So onto the makeup, I'm going to be doing a natural look today. I've realised that I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup anymore. So I'm just going to be using a concealer to conceal my eyes and using a powder foundation to just give myself a little bit of colour. So firstly I'm taking this Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in 13.2 and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes, near my nose area and near my mouth area where I've got a little bit of hyperpigmentation. I 
and then I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in 12.5 and then putting two dots underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose just to brighten up those areas and I don't really like the shade of this Revolution Concealer for my skin I think it's a little bit too light skin for me but I can make it work it definitely won't be my shade for summer but we move so I'm just blending that concealer right underneath the eyes and outwards and the nose I'm blending it to just get rid of those harsh lines basically and then I'm going to take my black opal setting powder in medium I think it is and I'm just applying a little bit of that well actually a bit too much of that underneath my eyes really and truly I just wanted to just set the powder not really brighten it too much but it looks a bit too bright but anyway and I'm taking that down the bridge of my nose as well and now I'm taking my fluffy all-purpose brush I think from Real Techniques I can't remember what it's called but this fluffy brush and brushing away the excess so now I'm taking my MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm just swiping that all over my face really literally all over my face but I'm not doing like a heavy layer of it just to give the rest of my face some color and I'm even swiping that underneath my eyes as well to tone it down a bit so onto the brows I'm using this makeup academy eyebrow pencil in dark brown and I'm just literally filling in my eyebrows I like to do a line on top and the bottom and just fill in the middle part a little bit and then I take the other end of the pencil which is like an eyebrow spoolie and I just brush out the lines and that's literally all I do And then I just use this clear mascara from collection to set my eyebrows. Now I'm taking a MAC foundation. I can't remember what shade it is, but it's a darker shade than my skin tone. And I'm just using it to just bronze my skin up a bit. So I'm just bronzing up my face with that and really, really trying to reduce that forehead. And I mean like reduce it to zero. So I take down my forehead in the hollows of my cheeks and down on my jawline as well. So you want to make like a number three on your face. Now I'm using this Fenty Beauty bronzer in Mokamami and I'm just using that to rosy up my face a little bit. Make me look like I've been on a holiday when I haven't been on a holiday for several years. But anyway, we move. Using that as a blush as well. This stuff is very pigmented guys. And once you put it on, it's not going to move. Listen, I was blending this out for ages and it wouldn't budge. But I think I got it blended out okay. I'm not looking too crazy. So for the eyes, I'm going to be using this The Chocolates Palette by Juvia's Place. So I'm doing a really simple eye look, really. I'm just taking this dark chocolate shade and I'm just putting that into the crease of my eye and winging it out a bit. And then I'm taking this orange shade. I should actually pull it underneath the brown tone. But I'm just taking it up onto my brow bone a little bit to fade it out. And then I'm going back in with that chocolate shade to deepen up the crease a little bit. My son actually bought me this for Christmas. And it's probably one of the best eyeshadow palettes I've ever had in my life. And putting this golden shade on top. They're a black owned company and you can tell because the shades are just on point. I just love the way it's so pigmented and the colors just match my skin tone so well now i'm taking that chocolate shade again and i'm putting that onto the outer lower lash line and i'm taking the golden shade and putting it into the inner corner of my lower lash line and to highlight my cheeks i'm taking this fenty beauty killer what highlighter in trophy wife oh my gosh literally guys you just need a tiniest dab of this highlighter it's very very pigmented and it can look very very yellow if you use too much so i'm just applying that and blending it in really well and for the brow bone i'm just taking the eyeshadow from my revolution chocolates palette and i'm just highlighting the brow area and in the same palette i'm taking a light gold color and placing that into the inner corner of my eyes for my nose i'm a cupid's bow i'm using a bronzer from revolution called rock on world it's not available to buy anymore which sucks next i'm just taking my big fluffy brush and just toning down that highlighter a little bit and once i'm happy with my face i just go ahead and set it with this nyx setting spray Next I'm going to be doing my eyeliner, my lower lash and I'm using this Rimmel Coal Liner and I'm using this Beauty Blender to pull my eye down and it had a little bit of excess powder on there but I did try to swipe it off from my brush afterwards but I still hate it but anyways 
and then I'm curling my eyelashes to apply my mascara. I'm using this Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara in black. I didn't like this mascara at first because of the brush, but I love it now because of the brush. It literally separates my eyelashes so well and makes them look so thick and long. The only thing, sometimes it can be a little bit clumsy, but maybe that's because of me. I'm a clumsy person, so yeah. So I did two coats of that and now I'm moving on to the lips. I'm using this sleek lip liner in Locked Up, I think that's what it's called, and I'm just lining my lips with that. It's a nice deep chocolate shade and if you don't want to be spending £14 on MAC Chestnut, this lip liner is a good option. I think it was about three or four pounds. And next I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline and I'm putting that all over my lips. The, sorry, the footage cut out after 30 minutes, so I just applied that off camera. This color's actually grown on me quite a lot as well. So yeah, I really, really love this shade. But yeah, that's all done, and it's looking glorious. And here's the before and after, all within an hour. But yes, late as can be, off I went. And this is what my hair was looking like when I got home, so it was fully dried by then. But yeah, that's the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos from me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!